OK, um, well, the next things I'm going to show you now is kind of conditional formatting um, on emails. So um, sometimes emails can kind of get lost. Our, our inboxes can get a little bit busy. Um, so highlighting emails that are perhaps from important people. So you might have perhaps got emails that that you want to highlight that come from a particular client or come from your boss or you know it might come you know from the managing director the ceo or from you know a particular supplier we want those messages perhaps just to pop out a little bit more than they do um with just kind of seeing the name so there are some quick and easy things we can do and they can get very, a lot more complex than what i'm going to show you today but um i'll just show you a couple of basic things now if I wanted to apply some conditional formatting on email, if I go to my view tab when I'm in my main inbox screen and I go to view settings, there's a, an option in here that's called conditional formatting. So um, one thing to notice, is, as you can see, here, I'm in I'm in this um, email box called Alex Wilbur. So when I'm talking about an email from me, hopefully it doesn't seem too confusing. But you know, if we can just pretend I'm Alex in this case. So if I go to conditional formatting and I'm going to add a rule to this view. So if I click on add here, I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to say messages from Charlie. And what I want to do is any messages from Charlie, I'm going to change the font and I'm going to change the color. So I'm perhaps going to say any messages from Charlie, I want them to look red. I'm perhaps going to make the text size a little bit bigger in terms of the message so that it pops out because actually if I get a message from Charlie I really want to know about that and, and and just just for it to really kind of pop through and if I click OK I can then go and add a condition so this is just a name here where I've said messages from Charlie if I go and add a condition I'm now going to say I only want to see messages from and I'm just going to click OK. So what this will now do is that it says any messages from this email address, change the font colour to red and make the text size a little bit bigger, big in this case. So if I now click OK and click OK, what we can now see is the, the emails that I've previously sent into this mailbox just kind of pop out as a different colour. Now you can go and add all sorts of different conditions in here and you can get a lot more complicated than what I'm, than what I'm showing today. So, you know, but in this case, you can go into things like the advanced options and I can define more criteria. So I can look at, you know, uh, you know, address fields, you know, if it's if I've been CC'd in, um, you know, you can see there's all sorts of different fields in here. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of different properties that you can start to apply conditional formatting on. So uh, the, the purpose of this today is more just to give you an awareness that you can do these types of things um, and you can set you know different uh, you know different things of, of, of what happens around it. So perhaps automatically categorizing messages um, to a certain thing based on certain criteria. Um, you can get really quite complex and diverse about it, but in, it, in its basic form, um, like I said, it can just be as simple as changing the colour and just making those messages stand out a little bit more.